Okay. Ah, I'm out of breath because I just rode a bike down here, down to here, to, um, to uh, Ackworth Beach from my house. I'm a little over two miles. First time in several months, so I'm kind of out of shape in that sense. I need to start riding my bike again. So anyway, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of flying today. Since I had this battery charge for the other day, and the weather was too screwed up, and I want to use up these batteries before they go bad, I'm sitting full, because you don't want to uh, store these batteries with a full charge, because it's not good for them. So, uh, um, we're going to do some flying out here by the lake. I got a brand new YouTube channel, like I've said before, and uh, so these videos are going to be new on there. But if you've seen them before, they're going to be old because, you know, go figure. Uh, but I don't have too many other places to fly other than I have to drive 100 miles. So and it's a little bit breezy today, so we're going to see what happens. So here we go. Of course, I got to tap the screen. Oh. Tap the screen here. Turn on the video. There we go. Let's tap the screen since the Mavic is stupid in that sense. Yeah, I'm going to bitch about this as long as I own this thing. Because my Phantom 3, I'd have to do this with. But somehow, this new technology of the Mavic. You got to tap the screen to focus, which which I think is bullshit. This, with the technology of this drone, it should you should not have to do that. Anyway, I'm gonna fly into a headwind because the winds are blowing stiff out of the northwest. So I'm headed northwest. I'm go as far as I can go, and then I'll turn around and come back. I'm only doing 19 miles an hour out of 40 like I got in sports mode so you figure this wind's probably kicking 15 to 20 miles an hour and see I'm doing 25 and I'm gonna see if I can reach that body of water up there which is part of the lake which is probably probably lose radio signal because I got trees in front of me I will go up a little bit higher. Okay. That is one of the southern tributaries of Lake Alatoona right there. Because I'm flying from Ackworth Beach. I am 3,500 feet away. 3,700 feet away. And I'm in the shade so I can see what I'm looking at. One of these days I'm going to invest in one of these uh, crystal, crystal sky displays. That allows me to see this in direct sunlight. But I'm using an 8 inch tablet and a roughly about the same size uh, crystals, uh, crystal display. They call it from DJI is like $800. They're not cheap. Uh, I'm starting to lose little bit of signal here. Let's see, go up a little bit higher. Weak signal. Avoid blocking the antennas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just got trees in front of me. And I'm about a mile, a little over a mile away. 66% battery. Flying into a headwind, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I'm about to turn around anyway. Um, bring her home. Okay, there is the other part of the lake. 
Okay, now I'm doing 39, so you see I'm getting a tailwind now. This is what's important. About, you fly out in a headwind, and you come back in a tailwind. See, now I'm doing 40. an hour going about twice as fast as I did earlier because I got the wind at my back thirty nine point five apparently this thing even though you got a tailwind it, it kind of Despite it being in sports mode, it kind of limits the uh, forward speed of 40 miles an hour, regardless if the wind's pushing it or not. I noticed that. Because I got the wind at my back, it's probably doing 15 to 18 miles an hour, and, uh, and I'm still only doing 39.7. That's kind of strange, you know? Because my uh, Phantom 2 and Phantom 3. I flew those in the same conditions that that's drone to be doing 50 60 miles an hour so that's another crazy technology uh, blip that I feel that is um, kind of stupid okay put it back in regular mode I see it coming Hell, I was going backwards with it there for a minute. And since this battery was uh, only had like 95% charge on it, I decided that I'm just going to do a short flight. But I got to get it back in to do a selfie. Cause that's always um, customary 